Hello everyone, my name is Todd Coffey and today we are going to be walking through how to get to and use the BossNet Learning Portal. We're all really excited that you've chosen to take a course with us and we want to make sure that you have as easy and as great of a time using the site as you can. If you have any questions or issues that are not covered in this video or just want to talk to us send us an email at training at bossnet.org or call us at 617-720-1290 extension 232. You can use our site in a browser using any modern browser and you may also use your site on your mobile device or tablet. You can also access it using the Moodle app in the Google Play or the Apple iTunes Store. Once you're here, the first thing that you want to do is log in. Up in the top right it will say whether you're logged in or not. If you are not logged in, you want to click on this log in button. Once you're taken here, you will be able to log in on the left. If it's your first time here and you've been signed up for one of our courses through the region and gotten an email, then your email, then your username will be your email address. A lot of people have many email addresses, so make sure whichever address you got the email from us use that one. In this case I've set up a demo account. We automatically set your password as the word password lowercase so go ahead and enter that the first time and you'll be able to change it to whatever secure password you'd like of at least eight characters. If you are unable to log in and it's not accepting the password maybe because you changed it and forgot it you can click on the forgotten your username or password and have it retrieved if you were not signed in through a course and you came here to take a course independently then you will click the create new account button so once you've entered your username and password click login once you're on the site the first thing you want to do is navigate to your courses. The easiest way to get there if you're not brought there directly through a link is using this navigation tree up on the left. This is a really important aspect of the course and will allow you to navigate between your courses and activities very easily. In this case I'm going to use the My Courses button and you can see here that I'm enrolled in two courses. We are going to go to the IPDP course first. Once you get to a course you will see the layout in the middle that has all the activities in the course that you can do in order to learn about the topic. It will say the course name on the top and down the middle you've got all these topics. You'll notice there are check, check boxes here indicating that I have completed a lot of these or in this case all of these activities. But when you first get to your course you will not have completed the activities so I'm going to go to a course where I have not completed as many. Here you can see that there are a lot of activities that do not have checks which means they are not completed. If you see a checkered checkbox that means the check will be entered automatically once you have viewed the activity. Or completed it. If you see a solid checkbox, that means you should go ahead and view it yourself and then you can manually click it to mark it as complete. I'm going to go back now to the IPDP course and take a look at some of the activity types. Many of the activity types are videos and you should start at the top and go ahead and complete the activities 
in order, although that is not required. Some of the activities, such as discussions, will require that you view the video or resource before, which is why we recommend that you take the course in order. So, in order to access an activity, you will see that it's a link and you can go ahead and click it. This activity is a video. So you'll notice that this is an embedded YouTube video. So I will click anywhere within the video to start it. Hello and welcome and to And you can hear that it has started. I'm going to pause it so that you don't hear both audios. Uh, you'll notice that it is a pretty small window and that may make it difficult to read. You can go ahead and click on the full screen button and that will make it bigger. If it's paused, you may click anywhere in order to start it again. Uh, if you, once you are done with it, you'll want to exit the full screen mode by either clicking the escape button or clicking on this square, the same square in the bottom that you use to make it full screen in the first place. Once you have completed the activity, you will want to move on to the next activity and that can be done by going back to your course home which is again back here using the navigation but this site also has two other helpful ways to navigate and one is using the buttons down at the bel below this will allow you to proceed to the next activity by clicking that button. You may also go back to the prior activity and you can click on the course home button in order to go back to your course home. Finally, there is breadcrumb navigation, which means you can go back to whatever section you're in. In this case, for instance, if I was into this video here, you can see I'm in Unit 1 in the Introduction to QRIS video, so I can go back to my course by clicking IPD piece, and that's this course, and I could go all the way back home by clicking this Home button, or at any time clicking on the BossNet B or the BossNet logo. Now, we're going to talk about what it takes in order to complete your course and get your certificate. I'm going to switch between the bullying course and the IPDP course in order to show you what it looks like when you've completed a course and when you've just started. So we're going to start with this one. When you've just started, you'll notice that very few of the activities have been completed and your certificate, which is listed at the bottom, is not available, meaning it's grayed out and you cannot click on it. In order to make it available, i.e. complete the course, you will want to make sure you have done all of the required activities. It's easy to tell what you haven't done by looking down here because it says the certificate is not available unless and it says all the activities. You can go ahead and find these activities up in the course listing or you can simply click on them and you will be taken right to that activity. Once you have completed all of the activities, you will be able to click on your certificate. And then clicking on Get Your Certificate will create a download of your certificate in your Downloads folder or wherever it is that you have set your downloads. Thank you for viewing the course video, and good luck with your course.